Assalamualaikum and a very good day. My team and I will present a paper entitled Interface Elements of an Online Classroom Platform for Students with Visual Perceptual Disabilities. The team for this paper comprises of three authors from two different campuses. The team are my friend Nawal Abdul Raza, Khadija Ahmad Tajuddin and me myself Zazalina Binti Zakari. The presentation outline is as follows. The presentation will start with introduction, followed by online classroom definition, visual perceptual disabilities, research approach, conceptual framework and research discussion. In Malaysia, the National Center on Education Statistics 2020 estimates that up to 11% of students have been diagnosed as learners with disabilities and these numbers increase year by year. Disabilities can be varying from hundreds of types. One of the most common disabilities or physical impairments among students is visual or auditive impairment. For students with visual perceptual disabilities, their needs are different from other students. This is stated by Muktama et al. on 2021. With the current learning style that involves online learning, they are facing issues in dealing with the interface of online learning platforms due to their disabilities as the interface design does not meet their needs and capability. A preliminary study has been conducted among visual perceptual disability students found that students with disabilities are facing difficulties dealing with current interfaces. These difficulties that they face due to the selection of color, font, size and design that makes their learning process become more challenging. These difficulties lead to the ineffectiveness of teaching and learning among them. An online classroom is an environment created by means of a learning management system that allows students and teachers to connect synchronously and asynchronously. This can be done in real time with teachers and students meeting simultaneously or asynchronously with recurrent interaction between the teacher and student. This is a stated and defined by Jeffrey et al., Thomas Katarzyna and Zudu et al. Some of the advantages are self-paced study, time and space flexibility, time saving, and the fact that an online learning course often costs less. While these advantages include a sense of isolation, the struggle with staying motivated, lack of face-to-face -face interaction, difficulty in getting immediate feedback, the need for constant and reliable access to technology, and occasionally some difficulty with accreditation. This is stated by Fidago et al., Pipa Pei, Zhu and Debrick, Le and Gupta, Venta, Zuhairi and Wahyono and Suratin. Due to the widely use of online classroom nowadays in teaching and learning processes, a proper and appropriate online classroom platform should have been developed and provided for this student with visual perceptual disabilities. This is to ensure that they are not left behind in the learning process. But, okay, due to our studies shows that some online classroom platform has taken extra mileage for students with low vision, reading difficulties or other auditory preferences by allowing access to speech to text capabilities. Visual perceptual is the brain ability to make sense of what the eye see. This is stated by R. Valamati et al. and you et al. A visual perceptual disability refers to a hindered ability to make sense of information taken in through the eyes. Okay, this uh, table shows uh, classified seven classified categories of visual perceptual disabilities, which consists of visual discrimination, visual memory, visual spatial uh, relations, visual sequential memory, visual figure ground, visual closure, visual motor integration. This figure shown a research approach that been adopted for this study. In a theoretical study, the main role of the literature review is to show the underlying assumptions behind the research questions, demonstrate the research knowledge within the area, show that the proposed study will fill a gap in the previous research, and refine and redefine the research questions by embedding them in a larger empirical traditions. The literature review that was performed in this study is based upon literature related to this study topic. Subsequently, relevant articles were acquired, reference lists were inspected, and additional relevant articles were acquired. 
A thorough review of the literature yielded description of past studies in online classroom and visual perceptual disabilities. In empirical research, the lack of empirical research in this topic, especially in Malaysia, and exploratory investigation is considering the most suitable approach. Initial understanding of online classroom and visual perceptual disabilities are synthesized from the literature to provide an initial research approach. The slide shows the conceptual framework. Taking into consideration those guidelines and to fulfill the study need, the survey questions are divided into two sections, which are Section A and Section B. In Section A, four questions consist of questions related to student demographic and experience in using online classroom. In Section B, 12 questions are about identify, identifying the appropriate interface elements that suits their needs and preferences. In this section, questions are divided into six main categories and each category comprises of subcategories. The main categories are color, font, button, navigation, icon and background. The questions developed for this study are based on the conceptual framework presented in the slide. We'll move into the result and discussion. Based on the data collected, the result has been thoroughly analyzed. As mentioned in the previous section, 20 respondents were involved in this study. Those respondents are prudently selected in order to ensure the data collected are precise and represent the idea of the study. Figures shown represent the gender of the student that answer the survey question. The graph show that 65% of the respondents are female, while another 35% are male students. This question was addressed to a group of students from year 4, year 5 and year 6. According to the responses, 50% are students from year 3 or year 4, sorry, 45% from year 5 and 40% from year 6. This graph represents the result for the question that asks students regarding the application or platform that has been used as their online classroom. Figures show that 10.5% of students use WebEx, 15.8% using Microsoft Teams, 15.7.9% using Google Meet, while 68.4% using Telegram. The next question is an open-ended question that asks a student's opinion on online classroom platform based on their experience. Figure on the slide shows the answer from uh, form filled by the students. Findings from the open-ended uh, questions found that difficulties faced by students can be divided into two main categories, which are process and interfaces. In terms of process, Students are facing difficulties due to a lack of training and exposure to the way of using those online platforms. In terms of interfaces, findings show that students are having difficulties due to selection of font type, font size, font color, background color, background design, button design, icon and image used in the current online platform. This section discusses the interface elements that have been selected and chosen by students according to their survey question. This section discusses six main interface elements which are color, font, button, navigation, icon and background. As discussed in the previous section, color selection is divided into three subcategories which are color for background, color for text and color for title. The color for selection is based on two groups of color which are hot color or seju or cold color or dingin. Students have been given example in the process of selection to ensure students understand their choice. Table shown the tabulation of color selection by students according to subcategories. Based on the selection, majority of the students prefer cold color for all subcategories which are background, text and title. Font selections are divided into three subcategories which are font type, font size and font style. Font type is divided into two types which are serif and sans serif. For font size, multiple size of font are being given as an example to students in order for them to choose. Font size are divided into other subcategories which are title, text. And lastly, for style or effect, students are being given choice whether they want their text with effects or no. Style effects include shadow, reflection and other types of effects. Students have been given example in the process of selection to ensure students understand their choice. Table shown that the student prefer to use a sheriff font type in an online classroom platform. 
In terms of font size, majority of students choose above 30 points for title and above 40 points for text. For style, students prefer font without style. Button selection is divided into two subcategories which are shape and effect. For button shape, students were given three types of button shape which are radius button, rounded button and squared button. Button effect includes shadow, reflection and other type of effects. Students are given choices to choose whether they want the button with effect or without effects. Students have been given example in the process of selection to ensure students understand their choice. Based on the table, 45% choose a squared button as a button shape, 35 choose a rounded button and 20% choose a radius button. For button effects, 65% choose button with effects and 35% choose button without effects. Navigation selection is based on two selections which are vertical and horizontal navigation menus. Students have been given an example in the process of selection to ensure their choice. Based on the table, 90% of students choose horizontal and 10% choose vertical as navigation style. Icon is divided into two subcategories which are icon size and icon color. For icon size, students have been given choices between large or small size. For color, students have been given choice between color, color or black and white. Student has been given example in the process. Based on table, 85% uh, choose large size as a four icon size. For icon color, 70% choose color icon and 30% choose black and white. Background selection is based on two selections which are plain color background or image as background. Students have been given example in this case as well. Based on the table, it shows 85% of students choose the plain color background and 15% uh, choose an image as a background. Table shown the overall result of user selection of interface element based on six main elements which are color, font, button, navigation, icon and background. Okay, the table believe, is believed to be valuable and meaningful as it provided information on user preferences. Findings from this study can be used as a guideline in developing the interface of an online learning platform for visual perceptual disability students. This is very crucial in ensuring that this group of students does not left behind in their study. This study will bring positive change in the life of students with visual perceptual disabilities as they will be able to use the online classroom with ease. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good day.